Hey everybody, it's Safia Marco, Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again to talk about Riders of Justice, the new Mads Mikkelsen movie. It's a foreign film, so just a warning to people, because the, the title is English, but it is a foreign film. So, be warned, everyone who doesn't like watching foreign films for some reason, because personally, I don't like it a lot of the time. I don't like subtitles, because movies are visual, and having to move your eyes up and down over and over again takes away from the visual impact. And so, a lot of the times, the ones that are better are ones that have less dialogue, like horror ones, like the, the Vampire Dolls movies, or ones that are paced differently, where you don't really need to, like, constantly, like, look all around all over the place. And so, this movie, I really liked it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this is the best movie of the year so far. It is <laughs> clearly the best movie of the year. I mean, there's no competition. You got all these shitty fake product movies that come out that are just like, ugh, Mortal Kombat, all those types of crappy products. They come out, you watch them, and and then you forget about them, or you get really pissed off because they're just such an insult to your intelligence. Well, this one was an actual movie, thank God. And it was pretty good actually I liked it quite a bit I don't really have any flaws with it at all I do kind of have one that bothered me it's not really necessarily something that had to do with the movie but it was just something that was missing to me something that I felt like I wanted it to be in there and it wasn't and I'll talk about that a little bit it, it would have been hard to do so I <sighs> whatever it, it whatever so the movie is about Mads Mikkelsen he's a soldier he's 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 away working with the army right now and meanwhile his his wife and daughter go on this train and the wife gets killed because of a bombing on the train and there's all this stuff with that and it's basically Mads Mikkelsen and these other guys trying to figure out what happened who did it and seek revenge. That's the plot. And let me tell you something else. It is a fantastic revenge movie. In fact, all the people who act like The Last of Us 2 video game, oh god. All the all the people who act like that is a good show of like why revenge is bad. You need to watch this movie instead because this movie, to me, actually really does portray that message really, really well. And I think that if you had done the same thing in Last of Us 2 in cer certain ways that it would have been really good as well. Or m maybe not because still shouldn't have... That, that, that's, that's a different video. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself because that, that game took a lot more time to to get through than this movie this movie's only like an hour and 50 minutes long it's not that long and along with Mads Mikkelsen doing a great job you have a whole ensemble of characters who are really good and they they each have distinct quality in fact I'd like to bring something up I saw this on IMDb a criticism saying that none of the characters in the movie were likable. Oh my god, I was like, how much pot is this person smoking? None of these people are likable? You didn't sympathize with the guy who lost his wife? You didn't sympathize with the daughter who lost her mother? You didn't sympathize with the guy who... Oh, oh my god. God, just everyone, everyone, in fact, the only character in the movie I didn't like, obviously, besides the villains, who, uh, well, I won't say anything about that, but the, the only character I did not like was the boyfriend. The boyfriend was trash, he was a little punk, a little bitch-ass, piece-of-shit kid, 
coming over to their house, telling the dad what to do, telling the dad, you need therapy, man. Man, my mom's a therapist. You need therapy. <laughs> that really pissed me off, that, that little brat. And then what happened? Oh, God. I don't even want to talk about what happens with him because I just hate him so much. He is like Adam from Your Honor. I mean, that's the the level that he's on. Uh, the me the level of crap. But this movie is a fantastic revenge movie. And it also has lots of great elements of comedy. And just lots of everything. It's really a full movie. It's a full story. At the end... Well, I, I did want something more because I was expecting... You see, I'll finally get to my one critique now. I know that this has been all over the place, but... I'm just so surprised finally I watched a good movie instead of having to watch another movie with the big name actors, you know, doing this like GTA 5 parody movie type of movie. Like, I'm so sick of those movies. And finally, a good film with uh, substance to it and art to it and not crap. The one thing is, this movie was called Writers of Justice already you get a strike because there's no writing in the movie. <laughs> I know okay, I know that sounded that sounded weird. What I mean is there's no motorcycle stuff in the whole movie. Maybe I maybe there's a little bit of No, no, I don't think so. Because the movie is about a motorcycle gang. You'd think there'd be at least one shot of a gang member riding a motorcycle and getting shot off the motorcycle or something, or maybe there'd have to be a chase, an intense motorcycle chase. That's what I was waiting for. In fact, I kind of thought that, th that he was going to start his own motorcycle gang, and it was going to be like rivaling motorcycle gangs for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. That would have been uh like 80s type of corny crap. Uh, but I, I was expecting like one sequence that had motorcycle riding, one sequence where you get to see Mads Mikkelsen because we've seen him on a, a motorcycle before on Hannibal, Hannibal season three, episode one. Uh, or Was that a motorcycle or was it a... It might have been a scooter. I can't, I can't remember. I think it was a motorcycle. And so you already got Mads Mikkelsen, who's who's gotten on a motorcycle before. Let's put him on one again. This is a motorcycle movie. It's about a motorcycle gang. Come on. Come on. So, yeah. And one of the other things that was really impressive with this movie was that I read that the actor who played Otto, Otto is basically the third leading character next to Mads Mikkelsen, a.k.a. Marcus, and his daughter, whom I can't remember her name, but she reminded me, uh, in fact, I was really shocked, she looked exactly like the girl from Emma, the one whom Anya Taylor-Joy is trying to help. She looked exactly like her a little bit, but she was, but she was, I guess she's younger I was like, is that her? No. But the the guy who played Otto and Mads and the director of this movie, they've worked on like five or six films together. And I just have to give applause to that because, <laughs> wow, they've really done a great job. They, they've really found a, a little community of people in the film business in Denmark that make great films together they've really who knows about the other films because i'd like to check out their other movies that they've done together but yeah this movie was just it was really good i'm trying not to say too much because i don't want to give away any spoilers because it is kind of a you know there's a spoiler at a certain point and another spoilers a couple here and there and so i don't want to be too specific so i'm just going to get into oh shit i i didn't think about a rating oh fuck oh, <laughs> 105 subscribers and i i forgot to think about a rating <laughs> oh what what should i rate this movie <laughs> okay 
Wow. Oh no, I'm I can't I can't be silent. Oh no, that's terrible. Come on, Marco. You can think of a rating. Come on. Oh, shit. Pizza. Okay, uh, everyone likes pizza. This movie is pizza to the max. It is a pizza of a movie. Anyone could watch it. Anyone <laughs> really phoning it in this time. Quite literally, because I film on a phone. <laughs> uh, th yes, this movie is a pizza. In all seriousness, everyone could watch this movie. It is not... A kids movie it is of course it is not an adult movie it's somewhere in the middle it doesn't have a lot of violence it it's got a message to it it's you know it's a foreign film it's it's very well done it's it's very complete it's a pizza you know you got pepperoni you got cheese you got sauce you got the the the, the crust it is a pizza what kind of pizza it is a homemade pizza you make with your family, and your family can make their own little pizzas and put their own little toppings on it. And, of course, the ensemble in this movie, I, I got to give props to the ensemble. What a perfect ensemble. They were on par with the Avengers or Justice League. They were that good. You know, there's so much, so many great scenes of them having back and forth, cooking together, fighting, you know, just great scenes with this ensemble. So, I, you know, they, they could even make a sequel, to be honest. Uh, uh, oh, they, they could. Yeah, they, they could. They could make a sequel. <laughs> Notice how I said could. Because <laughs> I'm not giving anything away. <laughs> Check it out. Check this movie out. Seriously. Go support it. Go watch it in theaters if you can near you. Or if you can't support it in theaters, wait for it to come out on Blue Rizzles, a.k.a. Blu-ray, or get it on the streaming. Although, I, wait for the... Don't pay $20 to watch a movie on a streaming service. Wait wait for it to go down. Because that's just ridiculous. Shit, to rent a movie for $20 on... Oh, that is ridiculous. So that... Uh, I, I could do a whole video talking about that stupid shit with the releases and all that crap. Uh, th th things have gotten so terrible in the movie industry. It's so terrible. It's good that Denmark is adult enough to make films nowadays and they're actually making art instead of making products and now we get the spoilers i don't really have much to say in terms of spoilers once again i wish there was some motorcycle stuff so much i mean there could have been i was really looking i mean come on it's about a motorcycle gang I was thinking, like, just, okay, just one sequence with motorcycles, just one, like, have this, like, badass, Wild West type of motorcycle sequence, you got Mads Mikkelsen on a motorcycle, you got another guy on a motorcycle, you got them ch chasing each other down in the middle of nowhere, Denmark, uh, shooting at each other, I mean, it could have been epic, and instead, we didn't get any, any of that, in fact, we got car stuff. I mean, we got stuff with cars where it was like sh having to plan out shooting at the the cars at a certain time. You know, very specific with car fighting. Not very much with uh, any motorcycles. And so I thought that that was a huge flaw of the movie. But it doesn't really take away my enjoyment of the whole movie. Now, let's get to the boyfriend. Oh, yeah, his name was Sirius. <laughs> See, that's another thing, too. You can, I mean, just think about that. I can remember the names of the characters from this movie. It's a Danish movie. Some of these are Danish names. And I can remember them because it was an actual good movie. Now, here, here's the thing. Ask me about the little things. Well, what's the characters' names? Uh... Denzel Washington, Jared Leto, and uh, Rami Malek. What's their characters' names, though? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you know? 
because I can't remember. Uh, but with this movie, it was an actual good movie, so I can remember. And I think that that is a testament to how good this movie is. I can remember, you know, you got a linear, 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 and and then you got Emmanuel, Emmanuel, uh, the other guy, Emmanuel, Emmanuel guy, and then you got the Otto, and then you got Sirius, and you got Marcus. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and so, yeah, what was I saying about Sirius? Oh, he, at one point he gets interrogated and he immediately gives up the information and it gets really bad for him. They break like four of his fingers or whatever and he's just crying like a little bitch. And, you know, he posted this information on social media. And, of course, that's cool, too, because... You're, you're showing that uh, social media and that modern technology, you're showing the evils of it. You're showing how it, it really fucks shit up for them instead of, you know, relying on lazy, shitty ways to have it be where the enemies find out their location. And, of course, the big spoiler of the movie is that it was all for nothing. <laughs> the, the motorcycle gang, the Riders of Justice, they had nothing to do with the train bombing and you'll never and they'll never know who did have uh what uh, who did the train bombing if if anyone it might have just been an accident because it like collided with another train it was it was really a a bad situation and I really love the talk about statistics in the movie and the probability of events happening and all that stuff and how everything happened because the main girl, her bike got stolen. That's really cool. So many cool things like that. So much substance in this movie. But yeah, it was all for nothing. And that was shocking. I My jaw dropped to the floor. I was just like, oh, shit. This is terrible. I feel so uh, bad for the, the motorcycle gang even for for everyone involved because it's like they're in a terrible situation now because they have no choice anymore because then what happens is they find their information on social media and the writers of justice come and get them at their house and it's it's a bloody final battle i mean everyone gets shot practically it's it's a really intense final battle and it's close and what ends up happening is everyone survives. And you know what? I'll give the movie props too because an American movie probably would have had it be where Marcus gets killed sacrificing himself and then Otto becomes the new dad for the the, the girl. I can, that's one thing. I can't remember her name. She was a good character. I did like her. She did do a good job of acting. It's just for some reason I can't remember her character, her name. But yeah, because Otto actually, he talked about how he lost his daughter. He was in a drunk driving accident. He rammed his car into a tree and killed his daughter. And oh, that's terrible. That That's really bad. And there was a lot of emotion in this movie, too, uh, here and there. And I appreciated that as well, that there was depth and emotion. But, yeah, usually you have a character who, does, who doesn't have a daughter who wants one. And then you have the main character, and he's kind of hardened. He doesn't care about death. He'll do anything to do. And so he would die, and then the guy who would want a daughter would become the new father. You know, that's what an American version probably would have done. And I'm kind of glad that they didn't do that because it ended on a really nice note. They have this little Christmas scene, and and you got the uh, um, Emmanueler, uh, anal Emmanueler, the Theller uh, guy, the fat guy. He plays his he plays a French horn that he's been gifted, and that's another character thing with him. I don't want to just give everything away and just go over everything, but. There's a lot of subtlety to the movie, too. There's a lot of callbacks to, uh, like, you know, it's so thorough. It's just so thoroughly done. It's perfect. I don't have any flaws with this movie. It was great. Check it out once again.
And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, tell me about uh, my terrible pronunciation of these Danish names. And, <laughs> and uh, then subscribe to our channel. Bring us to a thousand so that I can finally start doing something with this channel. Because once I get to a thousand, I will be live streaming once in a while or often. So I'll figure it out. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.